Okay, we're going to talk a little bit about um, making oil collection wands. Um, this is a uh, one and a quarter inch oil collection wand, and I've got it in a two inch PVC tube pipe uh, with a pipe cap on the end. And this is something you can make yourself. Um, this is just to cover it out to keep the, the dribble off. I'm going to set that down and then zoom in on the uh, actual collector. Right here, we've got this coming down at a 45 degree angle. So when it's in the in the tank, it's too much strain on a hose to come out at a 90 or go straight out. See, so you put it down at a 45, and it's got the quick release cap, so you can just connect your hose up to it, which we'll do in just a minute. Close this back up. We'll talk a little bit about the tube. Here are my tube. Down at the bottom, we've got it slit for our oil collection. It's not all the way to the bottom, because in the bottom of every tank, there's going to be dirt and water and sludge and whatnot. So we've slit this all the way around and calculated that out to be about equivalent to the inside diameter of the pipe. Um, you'll notice that there's numbers on here. So if you're dipping into a tank, uh, you can estimate how much capacity it is. We've got uh, tables and, and formulas for calculating all that stuff in our Alternative Energy Secrets book. And uh, you can go by whatever number here and you can get a pretty, pretty good estimate or make a chart for you when you carry around you know what, what you're pulling out of the, the tank or what's in it when you dip it. Um, another thing about this is it has a drain hole in this cap on the bottom so what the oil that does or sludge whatever's in here when you pull it out just let it sit for a minute and that'll drain out. And this, <clears throat> We also have a sleeve on this uh, if you want to su suck all the way, this, we don't glue this on if you want to suck all the way to the bottom of the tank, well, you just roll the O-ring down and slide the pipe sleeve down. Now you can suck all the way to the bottom because those ports are closed off. Uh, if you want to go back, obviously it's the, the reverse. Just roll that O-ring back, put your pipe cap back on. Now you're not sucking water and dirt off the bottom. We'll go to a vacuum hose. A vacuum hose that we use, we sell here, it's got a heavy spiral in it so it can't collapse, but yet it's very flexible. So, uh, And it's not heavy, it's a very light hose. And this is very easy to work with uh, when you want to connect it up. This nice clean hose, we haven't used it yet. You pop the end off. Made it up. Lock it in. Now you're ready to collect some oil. If we get a lot of requests for these ends down here, like this that we've made, um, we'll put some in the lathe and cut them out so that they slide. So uh, that's all de depends on how much email we get. If everybody needs one, that's fine. If you can make it yourself, that's fine too. And that's it. There's the US Filter Max oil collection wand design.